what keeps you on living in spite of all the difficulties we have in life because you love it. Up to my 16th or 17th year, I never thought that I would become an artist also. I played with light and I played with color and I did some drawing, uh, but I never thought that I would become an artist. But later on, when I wanted to more to go into this direction, I felt my handicaps, that I was not gifted like a man like Picasso was gifted, for instance. But then comes the love. You want to do things and you develop gradually. You work on yourself. It's just like training for an athlete. He loves to sprint, but then he has to work on it. At 85 years old, Werner Dravis lives in his creations. He works through the day in his studio, sketching, painting, or making prints. Dravis was among the first Bauhaus artists to emigrate to the United States. He is a pioneer of abstract art. Printmaking brings Dravis hours of struggle and joy. The woodcut is his most lasting love. I developed a very, uh, shall I say, a relation to wood by cutting the wood. I like it. I like to cut wood. Each stroke has a voice in the final image. Sometimes there is a struggle of wills. The wood resists. But this struggle, too, speaks in the image. When I studied architecture in Berlin, I was very poor. I had to make, earn some money. So I got the ideas of sketches. I always sketched a great deal to try to sell them as prints. It was very common in those days that people made prints. Usually it was more accessible to have just a piece of wood around and to print without a printing press. For etchings you need an established print shop, more or less, or at least a printing press. Dravis is inspired and influenced by events in places large and small. You may see an exhibition or you may see a landscape or read a book and come across a reproduction. Or you may talk with another human being. I think some of my girlfriends influenced me very much. Printing by hand is a lengthy process. For a color print, Dravis devotes much time to mixing colors. It can be very tricky too find the right color combination because it all has to drive together. Each color is rolled separately, sometimes on a different block.
transferring the image from blocks to paper is an exacting task. Registration is easy on this one because it doesn't matter to be so exact. And then I take a piece of wood and rub it over those areas. Dravis often lifts the paper to see if the image is properly inked. Well, this is the idea. I'm not too satisfied with it. I think the colors could be still a little stronger in the background. And I have to cut out some more of the back because it takes up some color where it shouldn't be in there. Then I roll it in here, for instance. But that's the way it goes. I think my printmaking, the simplification of forms, uh, helped me too to simplify my formation in painting and vice versa the interest in using more color in painting influenced my printmaking. I don't think I had any day when I did not paint or draw. But as a child, or before I wanted to become a painter, I think I told you this once, I was fascinated by broken little glass bits with which I played or in nature when I saw some specks of sun or when I was lying in the meadow and squinted my eyes against the sunlight. You see some round disc dancing. All this I wanted to see later in my paintings. Drawing is the foundation of Dravis's creation. When I was 13 or 12, we had a class where we had to draw at first some boxes or something, right. and then some stuffed birds, you know. Well, everyone had to do it. So you coordinate your vision with the ability of the hands. Some were better, some were less good. Dravis often starts his work with a sketch, which he later develops into a more complete form. Well, sometimes you begin in a very playful manner and sometimes not. Sometimes you begin with a definite idea, I want to do this or that. But that's just as in life. You sometimes end a day in a way accidentally and sometimes you have a purpose.
I always felt that in abstract work one can express so much more than I have seen so far done. It is a form of expression which uh, we are only beginning to enter in. Uh, I realized it's rather empty in the center and I could form another contrast in the center which may repeat the background and uh, make here a color sketch at first where I put uh, some vertical lines on and I liked this idea so I made an overlay here and attached this to see how I like it. And then I sit back for a couple of hours and consider it, do I like it or not? But I think the repetition of a vertical formation uh, to the vertical background and the contrast here to the horizontals and cool colors is all right. Oh, the creative act is something which is life. If you form something new which didn't exist, I think it's a pleasure. I think it's the same as giving birth to any to a human being.